Hey guys, what is going on? I'm Tio. Welcome to another Quick Hands episode. Man, just stay tuned. We're going to have a quick, fun, super big giant pot hand in PLO. My biggest one two pot, bar none. Huge, huge for one two. That's coming up. But before we start that, I just wanted to let you know kind of like what's been going on. I haven't posted anything on YouTube. And the reason for that was I've been trying to get my computer fixed. Um, I've been uninstalling and reinstalling a whole bunch of programs. Um, I ha had a little bit of an issue trying to get everything set up first time. So I had to like literally reinstall everything twice. And uh, that's kind of been taking a long time. Um, but now we're good to go. We got everything running. And I'm looking forward to pumping out more material and really sitting down and grinding because you know that's that's what the channel is about that's what you guys like doing you guys like playing i like playing and uh i want to start pumping and just you know getting excited for 2018 and one more thing to mention is that woodbine is closing down their poker tables guys they're no longer going to be dealing the poker and uh, all those poker pro tables taking them away so just make sure that you get your money out before january 23rd January 23rd, okay? Just make sure you get it out, because if you don't, then you gotta go through OLG, and um, yeah, if, I don't know if it's gonna be a hassle or not, but you might as well just get the money out, just make sure that everything is uh, is good to go. In terms of the transition, I don't know when they're gonna transition things over, I don't know when they're gonna deal the live cards. Um, everything's kinda like all up in the air, nobody really knows anything until management really takes over. So, until then, you know, I'm not gonna have any poker in Toronto, and I gotta film everything either rama or niagara falls but uh anyways the wpt is coming up niagara falls so i'm looking forward to that but let's just jump into the main friggin hand my probably biggest one two hand ever one two just i know it's one two plo but just as a one two giant hand we're talking about two thousand dollar pot guys two thousand dollar at one two playing one two plo in Toronto, we're playing at the Poker Pro Tables, Woodbine. So, action starts off in a straddled pot. It is seven-handed, and we are on the button. E1 opens to 15 bucks, and then the cutoff decides to call. At this point, you know, I decide to call with my hand, and minimal squeezes here. Uh, nobody's really juicing up the action pre-flop and just kind of like three betting to isolate none of that really is going on so i'm pretty confident in seeing a flop in position uh with with the blinds just kind of wanting to call down for the most part small blind folds big blind calls and the straddler calls five guys to the flop queen four ten we got top set got the nuts rainbow board this is what we dream of this is crazy Everybody checks to us, so I decided to bet 47, and the big blind decides to go to 160 bucks. Things are gonna get wild. Straddler decides to flat that. This is crazy. We're at $640 effective with both of these guys. And folds around to us. At this point, you know, you're thinking like, man, this is where you gotta actually cruise. Don't go pedal to the metal here and just rip it all in because you kind of want to slow it down a little bit and control the pot, see what happens on the turn. And uh, you definitely want to trap both those guys in. Like you got the nuts. They're drawing pretty strong against what you have. So if you get it all in now, mm, chances are that you're pretty much flipping. So, you know, you, you definitely want to just see a turn card. So I decide to call. This is where it's going to get crazy. Turn is a five. Offsuit five. Beautiful card. Absolutely beautiful. This is what I want. This is what poker dreams are made out of. And now the big blind decides to bet. About 245. And the straddler thinks for about 20 seconds. And he jams, man. He goes all in. At this point, no need to Hollywood. I pretty much take like three seconds and just snap jam all in. Because I know that for the most part, the big blind has a wrap combination. So if I'm able to get him off the hand, and I believe that the second player, the straddler, has some kind of two pair hand that he's trying to protect, could have a set as well. And I just want to trap that money in, hoping that I can get the draw out 
and then really be down to like two out situation, which is oof, craziness or one out situation. Sorry. But anyway, he tanks and he's like, man, I shouldn't have bet 245. And he eventually just calls. Hands flip over, guys. The big blind has a wrap to the nuts. And the Straddler has second set of tens with no other equity in the hand. He's drawn to one out. And then our opponent is drawing live to the nuts. So, moment of truth. I think you already know what's going to happen because it's a big pot. Deuce of clubs. Take it down, go! Take it down, man. A $2,000 plus dollar pot at one, two. So, I don't know. Comment below, guys. What was your biggest pot that you've ever played at? Like one, two, one, three, because 2000 is just absolutely insane. Hopefully, you guys like that hand and uh, that pumps you up, keeps you motivated. Remember the good times. Remember the good times that you win these huge pots and then when you're on a downswing, you know, remember that sometimes you run good and sometimes you run super bad. And I'm gonna talk about the next vlog because I ran pretty bad in the next vlog. So yeah, you're definitely gonna see some fun stuff happening, but stay tuned for that. But in the meantime, like, subscribe. As always guys, thank you so much for watching and I will catch you on the next one. See ya.